In a last-minute addition to the 2011 Tunneling Symposium in Dubrovnik, Dr. Andro Vlahusik, mayor of the stunning Mediterranean city, presented an audacious plan for his city, a vision ridiculed by colleagues and the local media only the night before. When I show this tunnel, all city council members start to laugh at me because it's so crazy idea. That's incredible. Undeterred, the mayor is convinced a tunnel is the answer to the city's crippling traffic. Built more than 13 centuries ago, the ancient walled city is a favorite tourist destination, but simply unable to cope with the seasonal invasion. In our small city, now lives about 40,000 people, but each year more than 2 million people visit the Dubrovnik. One million of them arrive by cruise ships that pull into the city's expansive new port. But with only two narrow roads into the walled city, the short three-kilometer or 1.8-mile drive from the port can take more than an hour. Several underground parking structures and a highway tunnel, says the mayor, would bring order to the chaos. His colleagues on the council, while agreeing unanimously in principle, thought the tunnel proposal highly unlikely, claiming it is too expensive and more. It's too long. It's uh, incredible. Mayor is crazy. The following morning, he was surprised to learn that tunneling experts from around the world were meeting in his city and coming to his aid. I said, it's a joke. It, it isn't normal. Today morning at 10.30, I met in my office Mr. President of your organization, General Secretary and Mr. Kovic. The delegation invited the mayor to make his presentation at the Congress that same afternoon. He told the audience funding was not an issue. The city collects about 8 million euro a year selling tickets to enter the old city. It also charges each cruise ship passenger a congestion tax of 1 euro for another 1 million a year. The mayor says the tunnel could be through planning and design and into a possible PPP construction contract within nine months, ready for inauguration before the next mayoral election in May 2015. He then closed his presentation with a final question. Is there any company which want to agreement with the mayor of the room? <laughs> Paula Wallace reporting for TunnelTalk.com.